Hi, good morning to all of you. My name is Frank Andre B. Santos. My advocacy is about environmental situation today. As we have gathered here to celebrate this occasion, I would like to switch over environment to run the life in healthy, happy way. We all need a healthy and natural environment, continuously increasing human population, adversely affect the forest. Human beings are cutting forests to a great extent for making their home to live securely. However, they do not think of the problem arises due to the lack of forest because of the regular change in the environment physical structure of the human being and other lived species has been changed from generation to generation increasing human population did more land for agricultural cultivation and living purpose which forced them to cut more trees and forests so that deforestation has its own dangerous side effects for us to avoid flood, we should always think and consider right things such as avoid cutting trees. And you tend to cut trees, you should replace it for almost 2 to 5 trees and make sure that you can take good care of it. As this special assembly has been called for addressing the biggest issue this day regarding our environment, I would like to express my views on it. It was recognized by the entire world that our environment is not as it was before there are drastic changes that have been occurred since few sh such as climatic change increment in natural disaster etc all due to our changing lifestyle we should always avoid improper waste management that can lead to a different negative effects for the health of each people and the situation of the environment people should learn proper ways disposal which the separation of the bi biodegradable and non-biodegradable and put separate section for those plastic bottles and other trash that we can recycle. Another one is to keep the soil healthy and full of nutrients to avoid unexpected landslide and plant trees to keep the nutrients useful. And lastly, kind of population such as water and most of the factories industrial companies use chemical that can affect the health of each individual and the ozone layer of the environment. Another is the vehicle we keep on using gasoline with chemical like diesel can also affect the environment. Increasing level industrialization has countless harmful effects on the atmosphere because of the poisonous chemical emission and dangerous waste. Drain age in the big water resource such as Ayamuna Ganga and other rivers, the, the ever-changing negatively environment is not the issue of only some countries or government, it is the issue of full human fraternity because we all are the reason of this negatively declining environment so we all are responsible to save our nat natural environment for the healthy survival of on the earth. We all know that this world has been the healthiest yet planet that is capable of living how are you we still supposed to call it the same if you can no longer see proof of being healthy we all know that environment is already neglected so we should make a plan or way to bring back the clean and healthy world people all, all over the world should be alarmed today the world could die by this time i would like to be asked whether, whether she, just like living or saving the world. If you don't save, how will you live? You can live but you can save you nothing. Good or bad quality of social life depends on the quality of natural environment. The need of human being for food, water, shelter, and other things depends on the environment. Around us, there is a balanced natural cycle exists between environment and life of human beings, plants, and animals. Human society is playing vital role in degenerating the natural environment, which in turn negatively affect the life on this planet. All the human action in this modern world directly impact the whole ecosystem. Along billion of people in this world, we can be one to help each and other prayer or, or guide to make something better, I will start saving the beautiful broken world with me and we, that I can encourage people to have the same mindset as I do. All the actions have brought a big change in this planet which result in my environmental problem increasing demand of technologies and industries in the modern time impact the nature. 
the increasing invention of technologies has changed the interaction of the people with environment which permit more population to grow. For example, is the Amazon forest fire. Amazon has the 20% of oxygen which we are using to breath from the recent fire from that particular place if it can ongoing to Amazon how miserable would our lives. Our natural environment has become ugly changely in the last few decades and has taken for big and powerful demon affecting the lives of people. Every single moment na nature has made everything to run in balance with the natural cycle. However, many factors causes environmental corrosion. The factor like population growth and economic advancement are considered as the major factor giving rise to many other secondary factors. We must understand the importance of ecological balance and try our best to run it natural in order to prevent the effect of environmental disaster and promote the existence of healthy environment. We should promote common public in our surrounding for the clean and green environment. Prove the meaning of proverbs like we won't have society if we destroy the environment. We should understand the importance of the natural environment and try to reduce our non-eco-friendly activities and imperatively plant as many trees as we can save the water and that is the two biggest issues. Now this is the high time where we need to recognize the importance of our natural environment and try every possible action towards saving it from saving water to planting trees. We should realize our mistake and concern about the environment in order to keep it clean, safe, and secure for the healthy life many of the human activities like deforestation, industrial, technological improvement, and so many are leading our environment toward danger and keeping life at a risk by influencing the growth and de development and survival of all organisms. Protecting the atmosphere is the matter of high importance for all the present and future generation of mankind. The main purpose of this speech today over the environment is only to increase the public awareness among common people about the reasons of declining environment. As we need a healthy and natural environment for the life on earth, so it may humble request to all of you that please contribute to save your environment. However, what happened to our lives if any means of natural or man-made cause of environment. Degradation take place. We cannot imagine the extent of loss to the human and other living. Existing the ecology balance and natural cycle has become disturbed, which is very hard to bring back and give it a natural shape. However, there is a common saying that presentation is better than cure, so we never get tired of trying our best to save the environment. We can live without fresh air, relaxing sea, sound, tropical fruits, happy face of animals, waving plants and flowers that fulfill my life. There is no other planet like Earth. Stop what need to stop. Do what you can do to save everything. We are running out of time. Here's to live in this world. Can only be counted with my hand and that is alarming. Albert Einstein said, look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. Our planet is in trouble pretty much everywhere. You look today, you will hear or some, something reminding you that our planet help is falling. If our planet were a person, it would be about time to buy the burial plot and write out last will and testament. Just a brief list of the things that is ailing her is population, acid rain, climate change, and destruction of rainforest and other wild habitats that decline extinction of thousands of species of animal and plant. If we start today, there is no promise that we will be lucky enough to see the undoing of damage within our lifetime, but at least we leave our world, we leave our children and grandchildren with the gift of hope for a better kind future.